Hey, what's up guys? Shex here. Welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.2 with T-Rex CW. We're back in the Terraria 1.2 Let's Play world, and there are a few things that I want to do this episode. So first of all, last episode I believe we went to the dungeon, but we also visited the truffle and got ourselves the auto hammer right there. Now, if you know what the auto hammer does, then you probably know what I'm about to do. But in case you don't, the auto hammer takes chlorophyte and makes it into shroomite, which is better. So I've got a few chlorophyte bars right here and a few more that I can smelt up. Not too, too many, but um, I'm working on getting some more. But look at this. <gasps> we can make shroomite. Oh, we can make shroomite. Oh my goodness, we can make shroomite. Oh, this is awesome. This is really awesome. We've got shroomite. Let's see what all we can put our shroomite into. Hello, Daniel. Tell me, what can I buy? Shroomite helmet has 11. Oh my, that is chlorophyte. So much better than the shroomite, except for the plate mail. Hmm. I wonder if the shroomite actually is better. Shroomite digging claw. Ooh. 10%. 110. This has a bit more axe power, but minus one range. Ooh, hoverboard. Yes, we we are going to save up for some of this stuff, like the hoverboard. The hoverboards go oh, nope, and I've already thrown away my shroomite. Oh goodness! So let's go put away this uh, chlorophyte and shroomite, wherever I put it away. Yeah, I really need to go through and rename these chests, and I'll put away these glowing mushrooms. Sorry guys, I am still a little bit sick, and my throat is still. Or, I'm still coughing and stuff, so I might cough a bit during the video. But this episode, what we're going to do is we are going to hopefully get the final part to the Ankh Charm, the armor polish from our post Plantera hard mode dungeon. Ah, yeah. So let's venture over to the dungeon real quick. And we're going to go and hunt around for some blue armored bones. Sorry about that, guys. I just had a coughing fit right there. But as I was saying, we we're going to venture over to the dungeon. We we're going to go hunting for some blue armored bones so that we can get the armor polish, which is the last part that we need for the Ankh charm. It shouldn't take too long. I might be able to commentate over it. But we'll see. I might time lapse this up in editing or something. But yeah. Uh, for these types of things where I'm just walking around doing stuff, guys, ask me questions in the comments below, and I'll read them, and I will answer them, because that's what I do when I get the questions, when I don't have anything to really talk about, I just answer the questions that you guys leave me, and it's a lot of fun, actually, you guys actually ask some very good questions, but yeah, so leave your questions in the comments below, and I will take- Oh gosh, I, I really ruined that now, didn't I? I'll, and I will answer them in my videos when I don't really have anything to do. So, but now let's venture into the dungeon. A shine potion would have been helpful. Oh yeah, I still need to go through and remove these spikes, because the spikes, they don't do too much damage, but they do hurt. Uh, we need to go deeper. That's also the name of the Terraria game. Ooh, got some ectoplasm. Sweet. Once we get 10 ectoplasm and combine it with 20 souls of flight, we'll voice crack. I can get better wings, the ghost wings. That's going to be awesome. So we might get those this episode as well. I've noticed that uh, Terraria views have really declined recently. I don't know why. I, I get, like, barely any views on anything besides Terraria. It kind of makes me a little bit sad. I've got 1,000 subscribers and get 20 views on a, any video besides Terraria. But oh well, let's just continue with the dungeon. More ectoplasm. Awesome. Isn't ectoplasm supposed to be like really hard to get or something and really rare? Because it's not too rare. It's like a, what is it, like a 1 in 10 chance of something dropping ectoplasm? That is not bad at all for the dungeon. I really need to keep, a, keep an eye on my health. Because that is an essential part to dungeon crawling. Oh gosh. We need to get the rest of the boss souls so that we can craft the hallowed key mold. 
What the heck is that? Oh, it's Bone Lee. Hello, Bone Lee. Um, let's go around here. But yeah, when we get the rest of the boss souls, all that we need, we can open up the hallowed chest. Or we can open up, or we can grind for the crimson key mold and try to get the crimson chest with the vampire knives, which is probably better than the rainbow staff or whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. Got some ectoplasm. Yeah, now we're getting into the blue armored bones territory. This pygmy is very helpful. I found out that you can spawn the pygmy, um, like, out of the range of, like, your pickaxe and axe and stuff. You can spawn it wherever you want to on the screen. So you can create some AFK farms with the pygmy and with the, uh, chlorified armor because it has this, uh, crystal above it that shoots through blocks, actually, as I found out. Hello, blue armored bones. Is anything- <gasps> We got the armor polish! We got the armor polish! Did you guys see that? Oh gosh, we got the armor polish. Oh my, I was not expecting to get, to get it that quickly. Ha ha ha! Oh, 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 there's the armor polish. Oh, this is armor polish. We got the armor polish. Got the armor polish. Oh my goodness. We got the armor polish. Ah. Look at this, guys. Armor bracing. Armor bracing. Oh, look at that. We got the medicated bandage, we got the plan, we got the counter curse mana, we got the hard armor bracing, and we got the lucky blindfold. Do you know what that means? That means that we're gonna create the Ong Charm! Yes! Our quest for the Ong Charm is finally complete! Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, let's combine it with the obsidian shield! Look at that. The Onk Shield grants immunity to knockback and fire blocks and immunity to most debuffs. Best accessory in the game as far as I'm concerned right there. Oh my goodness, we got the Onk Charm, guys. We got the Onk Charm. How long have I been recording for? Like, I don't know, like 10 minutes or something. Oh my goodness, we got the Onk Charm. Let's... Uh, uh, <laughs> I was not expecting to get it so quickly. Oh, that was really exciting. Let's grab these souls of flight. I believe that the bone wings are better than... Or, not the bone wings. The ghost wings are better than the frozen wings. But let's let's see. Does this tell us? Allows flight and slow fall. Uh, what do I need? I need an anvil. Yes, ghost wings. Let me wiki this real quick. Uh, if the wiki will open, no, oh no, it won't. So um, I have the bone wings right now, and then we'll see if they're better. Bone wings or ghost wings? Sorry. Let's uh, let's equip these and and test them out. Ooh, no, uh, I want to see this. What does the onk shield look like? I wonder. <sighs> that's awesome. That's that's really cool. Fire glove is cool. GPS, you can't see. Oh no, I actually kind of like the look of the shield, maybe. Well... Nah, I don't. Let's, uh, let's equip these and, and test them out. Ooh. No, uh, I want to see this. What does the Ankh shield look like, I wonder? <sighs> that's awesome. That's, that's really cool. Fire glove is cool. GPS, you can't see. Oh no, I actually kind of like the look of the shield, maybe. Well... Nah, I don't need to fully load. Ah, but we got the Unk Charm, and I've already thrown it out the door. My precise Unk Shield. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet! Let's, uh, let's reforge that. What is the best modifier for that, I wonder? I'll look at that after. Uh, okay, Mr. Tinkerer, where is you at? Let's reforge our Terra Blade. Can we reforge that? Ah, uh, minus 12% speed, though. Oh, gosh. Why did I ever agree to reforge this? That was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? W audience, why would you let me reforge my Terrorblade to something awful? Uh, it's the terrible Terrorblade. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's really bad. Bulky Terrorblade. Slow Terrorblade. I don't... Just... Dang it. 
I, I hate this reforging system. You stay right there, stupid terrible. I, mm, stupid goblin tinker. At least give me something good. Oh, I'm down quite a bit of platinum. Oh, okay, I can earn that back though. Shoddy. No, give me good. Uh, there we go. Savage Terror Blade. I'm not going to try to get anything better than that. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's not try and reforge anything because that clearly went well. Let's go put this away and we will see if they're fairly cool. So we will keep the ghost wings for now. They look like angel wings. Do I like the ghost wings or the frozen wings? I like the ghost wings, but the angel wings are cool. So anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of Terraria 1.2. A lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. What was that? Batwing. Ooh. I might as well make a pair of those later. So that was quite a bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to take a lot longer to get the armor polish, but we did two things this episode. We got the armor polish, and we're able to create the Ankh shield. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of butter butterflies. Ah, uh, terribly do your thing. There we go. Kill all the butterflies. And ev everything, pretty much. So anyways, guys, quite a bit done. Quite successful. I liked it a lot. So anyways, guys, if you liked this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome Minecraft and Terraria content. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.